Long Valley caldera supervolcano hit by magnitude 3.9 quake today. Idaho just hit by a 3.3 quake and Salt Lake City, Utah by 4.2 quake. All of these three areas are having quake swarms. This is the cross section from Baja through Utah into Yellowstone. That's the mantle plume going there. And then the right left hand side here, you see that red blotch that's right under Yellowstone in Utah, halfway between West Coast and Yellowstone. That's all magma plume there. That's hot magma, of course. And these are past ash coverings from Yellowstone caldera, Huckleberry Ridge, Truff, Tuff, and the Long Valley caldera. And uh, we have to realize that uh, basically they have the same mantle plume from Baja. The western part goes into the San Andreas and Walker Lane fault system. Walker Lane to where we have the uh, Long Valley Caldera supervolcano sitting and the uh, eastern arm goes through Utah into Yellowstone and into the Idaho Craters of the Moon area. Let's take a look at the maps. This is a nice map showing you the Baja source. You can see the west coast there with the mantle plume and that same source from Baja going into Utah into uh, Yellowstone and then going west into Idaho. That makes that little seven looking thing. Let's go to look at the maps now. This is just magma underneath various uh, places in the US. Even the you can see here under Maine as well on the East Coast. Uh, this is our Utah quake 4.2. Sorry, yeah, Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. And I didn't put the uh, other smaller ones because I want you to, otherwise it would be full of quakes. But I want you to see these are the quakes above 2.5 magnitude. And uh, we'll put them as you can see. But this is Mammoth Lakes here. This Bodhi, California, that is uh, Long Valley Caldera. And they're all shallow. This is Idaho. And uh, not too many people living there, so I don't know if they're they've reported uh, the shaking to uh, this is just now it just happened the past hour so we'll see okay one person felt it I'm sure a lot more have will report it but the thing is that uh, it just now happened that's why it's red the blue is the past day and uh, before that is yellow and the red is the past hour now for your information we'll put on the smaller quakes as well as they go on this is great this is uh, salt lake city right there okay there you have you can understand that we have quake swarms here quake swarms there and quake swarms there okay this is what i wanted to see um oh we just had another one at sacramento okay okay this is the baja area the map that we saw before the western part here, San Andreas and Walker Lane Fault System, the magma coming from Baja, as it's on the map, and then that cross section going through Utah into Yellowstone, then making that seven mark right here. That's the uh, mantle plume, the magma that we saw that was very close to the surface, halfway between the west coast and Yellowstone. This is it right here. So it's imaginary, an imaginary seven, like this and like this. Remember we saw that? Okay, here we have nine volcanoes basically in a straight line towards yellowstone on craters of the moon and others and here we have salt lake city we have that line there eight volcanoes eight volcanoes there and let's go to our long valley caldera right now and on volcano discovery this is the area where this legend is this is the area of our quake swarm right there let's um let's go into the map so we can see much better into the map. Okay. And let's go into it. Four people felt that, even though there's hardly anybody living there. And Ariel. Okay. And that's Mono Lake, as you can see there. Mono Lake, and let's put in some tectonic faults, and then hardly anybody there. You can see there's hardly anybody there. But um, that's Mono Lake. And that's Mono Lake. So where our legend is, that's basically our quake swarm right there. This whole thing is Long Valley Caldera. Okay. 
So this erupted with a super eruption about 760,000 years ago, forming the voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing on in recent years in the form of deformation. It's been rising, which means that there's magma coming in. Deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. In order to better understand and monitor the caldera and possible future changes, USG has established Long Valley Observatory. The background, the Bishop Tuff formed the, well, the super eruption 760,000 years ago, continued in the central part of the caldera. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from the outer ring fra fracture events. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. Later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. The Owens River Gorge is here towards, um, let's go to our map. Okay, let's go to our map and we'll go to the topographic. Basically, it's this one here the Inyo craters towards um, Ridgecrest. That's the Owen Rivers go River Gorge. I think we could see it much better here. Okay. Mount Whitney, okay. Owens River Gorge. It's gonna come up. Oh, there we go, Owens Valley. Okay, that's the Owens River, and that's it right there. Okay. Okay, Long Valley Caldera. Okay, that's it right there. Mono Lake, Long Valley Caldera, Long Valley. That's the whole, that thing is all Long Valley Caldera. And that's where the, the uh, uh, water drained from the lake. Now, let's go so we can take this off, put that on so we can see better. The bigger quakes. Yes, yes. It'll take its time, I guess. There it goes. Okay, let's take this off. Okay, and um, so basically we saw that it has the, the same source from Baja. The western area is this, and the other part here going like, like, like an imaginary seven. Let's go to the Idaho volcanoes now. The Idaho volcanoes, you can see there's a line going like this. That's Yellowstone Lake right there. Okay, boys, the Idaho, that's where we're having our quake swarms. That's Salt Lake. So there's more quakes, there's more volcanoes down there at the uh, Utah. These are the Utah volcanoes. Okay, and the, la the last one, uh, the most recent eruption was by the Black Rock Desert Volcano, which erupted about uh, roughly 660 years ago. The youngest lava flows, the roughly 660-year-old ice spring lava flows, located in ice springs, okay? It's a volcanic field, desert volcanic field, basalt lava, Pavant volcanic field, okay, Sugarloaf Mountain, Kanoche volcanic field, includes the Black Rock volcano, volcano itself, the Tabernacle volcanic field in the Black Rock field, Ice Spring volcano, the youngest of the field, Cove Fort volcanic field, so the whole thing is volcanic fields. And um, as we said before, there's eight volcanoes south of Salt Lake City. There's Salt Lake City, Provo, Lake Provo. That was all one lake at one point, and it's landfilled. So this is the area right here. And going into Baja, as you can see. That's Salt Lake right there. That's Yellowstone in Wyoming right there. And then we have Idaho, the Idaho volcano. So those volcanoes are right on the mantle plume. And that's exactly where we're having our earthquakes. Okay. There, uh, there's magma under there. And we know that uh, we've already been told that Long Valley Caldera is one of the high threat volcanoes and it's deforming, it's inflating. Uh, this, this here, this area here goes off like clockwork. And uh, this is where we have the 6.5 magnitude earthquake the night of March 31st towards April 1st, and that same day we had a 2.9 earthquake in uh, Yellowstone on the night of uh, March 31st. 
Okay, on March 18, though, we had the 5.7 in Salt Lake. So this Salt Lake was March uh, 18, 5.7, boom out of nowhere. Then we had March 31st, 6.5 magnitude boom out of nowhere. And um, this is, you know, these are pretty big. These quakes are pretty big. When we had we had a few days ago we ago we had the bigger one here. Where is it? I hope they didn't take it off. Okay, let's go back. Four, it was a 4.5 or something, if I remember correctly. Where was it? There's so many there. Look at that. There's there are just so many. Here it is. What's that? 5.2. I downgraded it. Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a 5.2. Okay. On the 11th of April. Okay. And we had a couple of fours there as well. And another four here, 4.6. On the same day, on, uh, on, on uh, the 11th of April. All these big ones were the 11th of April. 5.2. And they're still going on, okay? These are only the ones over, over 2.5, as we saw. So 5.2, uh, you know, about 10 days after the uh, 6.5, you're saying, oh, well, it's so way off. I mean, it's what? It's like, uh, what, it must be like, Yellowstone is 600 miles from uh, uh, Long Valley, so this must be about, what, 600, 500 miles away? Two, four, maybe 600 miles away, okay. Um, we know that that 6.5 really shook the whole area up to Manitoba, Winnipeg, Lake Winnipeg. Gee, even though I'm Canadian, I forgot my provinces. Okay, this is, uh, okay, this is British Columbia. There's 10 provinces, okay. British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, that's Manitoba, okay? Ontario, Quebec, and then you have the little ones around here. You know, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, okay, Labrador, Newfoundland. Okay, so it was felt, this one here was felt all the way in Manitoba. How do I know? I have a, a viewer who, who commented there that they shook in Manitoba. So extrapolating all the way this way, I mean, that's, that's soft there. We know that that's soft sediment. Uh, I'm sure it didn't go all the way, you know, I don't, well, even if it went half the way down, it must have been shaken, it must have shaken the West Coast as well. Because it's what, it's only what, two, four, it's, you know, two, four, six hundred miles. Yeah, this must be more than six hundred miles down to uh, Long Valley. So that's what's going on there. So all of you there, please be very careful because we had a 5.2 and I forgot that I called it four point something. Okay, so, oh, see, this one turned from red to uh, blue now, 3.3. .3. Okay, so please be very careful. And, uh, uh, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, I was going to say that this, they are expecting, this can give a 7 or a 7.5 earthquake, but uh, it could happen now or it could happen in a 1,000 years. You know, it's, it doesn't mean it's going to happen today, but it, uh, it, does, it, it is capable of giving bigger earthquakes there from what the geologist had told us uh, a few days ago after the 6.5 came out. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. 
in Caputá. We also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.